I finally get around to putting the sod down after prepping the soil. And really all I'm trying to do here is just uh, get everything lined up as straight as possible, make sure that my lines um, are going to be uh, matching. Um, so when I lay that next row uh, next to it, I can cut it in a, in a straight line and, and try to keep the bumps down to a minimum. Okay, here I'm using the uh, Corona, of all names, of a tool. Um, this is amazing. Uh, but it is the um, bed definer or edger. Um, this tool is by far one of the best tools I have uh, in my arsenal. I use it all over the yard, whether it's for edging uh, beds or um, I used it when I was burying some water lines, uh, or not water lines, but sprinkler uh, lines and um, super sharp. Uh, you can use it to cut roots. Um, it's uh, very sturdy. You can actually use it to kind of um, pull the sod up back and forth. But this was an awesome tool to have when I was actually um, out here um, putting this sod in as it allowed me to really get a nice cut um, looking down versus having to you know, be above it. Uh, kind of wrapped up over um, on that one section. And here I'm just leveling out using some of that sand that I had left over. Um, and just kind of working through the rest of the areas that uh, needed to get um, the sod laid. Um, I cut into the actual Bermuda grass that was growing and then used the sun gel with the scarifier all the way down to just break and loosen up the soil. This really made the job a lot easier. And if you have a sun gel or a tiller, I have a tiller, but I just preferred the sun gel in this case. It was uh, a bigger swath for me. And I wasn't having to go down um, but a couple inches. And with the hoe that I was using, the rake and the sun joe, this I made pretty quick work of loosening up uh, some of the uh, the soil and uh, the other Bermuda that I was working in. Uh, so this, uh, this worked out really well, made my job easier, and I was able to cut that Bermuda in and make it pretty level with uh, some of the other areas. So this is just a, a, a shot of the uh, the sod. This is about three days after I laid it. My uh, battery unfortunately ran out and I didn't capture the end footage there. And so uh, you can see the, the grass is actually starting to green up here. We have uh, uh, active growing in almost all the different uh, little patches of sod that I put down. You can kind of see some of those that I just kind of threw in. Um, uh, in that area. Put the one up there by the gate. This is a trouble area all the time. I'm hoping that it'll spread a little bit. And then this one area here where um, it's get, it gets a lot of shade. And uh, I actually got grass to grow in there, but the armadillo really um, you know, hurt in that, that case. But um, so the Bermuda is actively growing. You know, we're, we're doing pretty good in day three. And I'm pretty happy with the progress. I've been watering nonstop. You can pretty much see there's water coming out of uh, the edges of, onto the sidewalk there. All right, uh, so this is looking into, I think, day seven. And so we really have a lot more green up. Uh, I got some active uh, um, worms that are living in there. And then here we are uh, 12 days into the Bermuda and the grass is looking absolutely fantastic. All right, this is uh, day 14 or two weeks in and I have made my first cut. I'm cutting it two inches and you can see a uh, really nice green up here. Um, it's starting to become one with the lawn, which is fantastic. And uh, ooh, look at the little uh, lizard we got running up there on the step. Um, the grass is, uh, is starting to thicken up, so it's actively um, growing. I had applied RGS, um, I believe, on day eight, and so uh, we're uh, seeing some really nice tack down. And uh, all in all, the progress um, is, is going really well. We've also had some great uh, rainstorms move through that have helped in uh, the watering and, and just getting those nutrients down. This will wrap up uh, this video. I really appreciate you guys uh, stopping by. Make sure that you like, subscribe, and uh, ring that notification bell. We'll see you all soon. Thanks.